started as a trip to the Pacific Science Center in January 2020, turned into a family's worst nightmare. Everything happened so quickly. Right away, I, I saw he was shot. Friday, Colby Clifton told a jury what happened as his family and friends walked to catch a ferry to head home. Things just seemed to get, they started to get tense. The two groups took a step or two away from each other. And then I saw flashes as uh, somebody pulled out a gun and started shooting. And, and then what? The shooting happened near Third and Pine, just a couple blocks from Pike Place Market. Prosecutors say it started as a dispute over a Facebook post and led to rival gang members shooting at each other, then running away and blindly firing towards innocent bystanders. Clifton said he ran across the street with his daughter to escape the gunfire. As soon as we crossed the street, uh, it seemed like the firing had stopped, so I turned around went back across the street to see if, make sure everybody was okay. And my son Judah was um, lying on his back. He had a backpack on, and so the backpack was under him, and uh, he had been shot. Um, he was clearly in pain and uh, had been shot in the leg. His son was taken to the hospital, where they realized the bullet had hit his femur. It was just shattered. The bone was just shattered. I, I thought... After seeing the x-ray, I thought he would, maybe wouldn't ever walk again. Thankfully, he says doctors were able to repair his leg. He said it's been a process, but his son is healing. I'm very proud of him. Two of the accused shooters, including Marquise Tolbert, got away and went to Las Vegas. They were arrested there about a month after the shooting. Another suspect's trial is expected to start in September.